What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jaquel. And welcome back to my channel, Jaquel Legacy. And today, I'm back. Um, if you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into this video. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. Love. Yeah, I'm back, man. I know I've been gone for about... I say a month, maybe longer than that. And excuse me if I kind of like stutter or like, try, I'm basically trying to hear my, I can hear myself in my ear, like my ear is like clogged up. Um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I woke up and my shit just feel like I'm underwater and shit. Uh, but yeah, where have I been, man? Yeah, um, basically, for those who haven't tuned into the last video, um, I was in Hobbs, New Mexico at the time. I, not that video, but, you know, describing the video. And I had got evicted. I had got evicted. Um, and then from there, um, I drove eight hours to a city, um, Houston. I didn't tell nobody. This is my first time telling anybody, um, you know, through the social platform and shit like that, Houston came to Houston um yeah I, I drove eight hours. I had got my car fixed and then I drove after like the little eviction shit I just stayed positive through it all I drove eight hours man had got my last O2 sensor fixed um one of the last ones just make sure everything was good mind you I got a fucked up transmission my transmission is already bad um it's been bad since I got the car has been slipping and shit like that. You know, you can go back to further videos and I and, and I've explained that. But you know, I got what I could out of it to make it drive. So then boom, I made the car drive eight hours. Um, literally drove eight hours, bro, in the rain with my dark ass tent in the front. I got five percent around, but I had got pulled over literally like two days before I came to Houston. And the officer, or whatever, it was like this three percent and the front three percent so i don't know the guy who did my tent didn't speak no fucking english bro like he probably knew like hi um and yeah basically i swear to god like you would thought i was like in warriors or whatever you know real mexico but it was in hobbs or whatever so it could possibly be three it could be five i have no clue i thought five but i think because his tent is so high quality it's like it's like ceramic. But anyway, uh, I dri drove through the, all like the rain. Eight hours, man, made it all the way here to Houston, bro. Got all the way here. And then when I got here, um, the car, as soon as I got here, you know, where I'm staying, um, the person had came and got us or whatever, like to tell me where to park and shit. And then boom, the motherfucking car just uh, like literally like, woo, woo, woo started misfiring and i ain't think none of it i was like fuck i gotta get something else fixed if y'all have been here since bro since i was working at tamar before i got this when i got this like bro i've been constantly fucking fixing this car up bro like i done got the alternator replaced i did that myself the battery replaced did that myself uh oh two both o2 sensors replaced uh all eight spark plugs um it's a whole bunch of shit um but the list goes on and on and on but when it was misfiring I, I didn't think nothing of it i thought you know maybe it was just tired or maybe another sensor you know this is like a project car so i didn't ex when going into getting it i didn't think i didn't think like uh it was gonna be as bad as it was now, granted, I have, you know, made it very, very, very accommodable to me. I have got shit fixed. Everything except the transmission. Because um, back home, niggas, was, he was finna do the transmission, took the whole transmission out, and come to find out it was the wrong fucking transmission. So he had to put the transmission back, and then the same one that's fucked up, and then it ended up, once he took out the, the current transmission, he was like, yeah, the pump is going out. It's wearing out. That's the only thing wrong with it. The pump is wearing out. Obviously, because the previous owner was beating the car up. Because this car has had 20 owners on the 21st. 
Yeah, or the 22nd, one of them two. But it's had several owners, bro. So the car has just, it wasn't beat up. It was it was cop cars. Like detectives have had the car and so on and so forth. The last person I bought it from beat the car up. Like, but I paid, as a Crown Vicks right there, it's crazy. Um, I paid 1800 I feel like more than that for this motherfucker, like close to two bands, but I'll just say 1800 plus. Um, I paid for this. I owned the car, everything like that, but I didn't. I just thought the, the only thing I was going to have to get fixed was the transmission, bro. And when, ever since I've gotten this car, since before I got this car, bro, it's been constant, 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 constant repairs, bro. Like, And I ain't have a job to where I can just get it all done at once because back home at Hobbs, I was, you know, doing a lot of shit. I was taking care of me and Kennedy and taking care of a lot of shit, bro. So I didn't have like a big amount of money to get shit fixed at once. It wasn't until before I left Hobbs or I had a good ass job that when I got fired from for no reason, um, I could have possibly most likely gotten it fixed. But they was back in Hobbs. He said to do the fucking to replace it, to do a brand new transmission and shit like that, 4,500. Um, I didn't have that at the time. Maybe if I wasn't like going through what I was going through, but I didn't have that, but I tried. But then once I got to the point, like, I'm not finna get it fixed from y'all. And then there was another place an hour away. He ended up saying 2,600. And then I almost did it, but then we had to move. And I lost the job on top of that. So then I was like, fuck it. Got what I could, fixed the sensors, spark plugs, all this shit. Drove all the way eight hours to Houston. It was misfiring again. Misfiring is when the motherfucking, like, the sensor is wearing out. Some can be overheating. Not like a, it could be like a wire, a shortage. Most likely it'd be like sensors is wearing out, which causes the misfire, you know, and then the battery symbol pop up and et cetera, et cetera. And then the main thing, though, that you'll notice is it'll, it'll, it'll when it's idling, when it's idling means like it's just sitting, like you're not in drive. Um, and it, and cut off. So that shit happened when I when I got here, when it fucked up, I would start I would start driving it because I had to get us some money. I didn't have a job coming here. I didn't have shit but Uber Eats. So I only can get so much because the car when I would drive mid drive, bro, the car would voo, 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 and cut off. Like I can be sitting behind a car about to go and it cut off, or I could be dead ass speeding and it cut off. So. I just was like, okay, I got, obviously I'm supposed to be sitting for a reason. So then boom, um, fast forward, I ended up getting it fixed. It ended up being the, the fuel injection sensor. I feel like that's what it's called. I got the paper somewhere. I don't know, but I feel like it's called the R and R fuel. It might be, it's, it's a, it's, it's like, they call it many different things, but I feel like fuel injection sensor. Um, don't quote me though, but it's basically under the hood, right on top of the engine bay. It's a little fucking like a plug. And you, if you undo it, the gas will come out. Basically it what makes the gas be in the car, like in the engine. So I got that shit fixed and then it stopped misfiring. Stop misfiring. It was working good as new, bro. Like I can go 90 miles an hour if I wanted to, hundred miles if I wanted to, and it'd be smooth than a bitch. The only thing still I was dealing with, obviously, was the slipping, where I would have to, like, in previous videos, I would have to rev it to get it to go, you know, X amount of times. So then, boom, fast forward, bro. One day, I was leaving the store, Kroger, like, 15 minutes away. Random ass day, mind y'all. Houston, Texas, bro, it's hot than a bitch, bro. I'm talking about, bro, it's so fucking hot here, bro. Like, it's... It's hot as fuck, bro. Like, it's hot, bro. I'm talking about, like, 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 nigga, hot, bro. Like, constant fucking hot. But, yeah, like, nigga, boom, my fucking, I'm driving from the store. Mind you, I was driving it every day. I was driving it, doing Uber Eats. Once it got fixed for real, I was doing Uber Eats every damn day. You know, like, normal shit. Just had the transmission problem. Man, I leave the fucking store. It drive off normal. I get to the stoplight. Nigga, I'm in drive. That bitch start revving. This car, you can't see your RPM and shit shoot. You can't see certain shit that a Challenger or a Charger or just a modern day car that has the RPM and say it's like on the left or it might be in the right or maybe some cars it might be in the middle. 
say this say one two three four five six seven eight it's different gears and shit basically it's gears basically like so when you can manual on a type of like hellcat or scat pack or even fucking you can go camaro mustang you can go fucking amg you can go bmw you can switch you know manual you got your paddle shifters and then it that's the rpm manual all that type shit so then boom bro that shit got, get the revving i'm like fuck i ain't thinking it's a transmission that it blew but it come like it can't it couldn't have blown because i would have heard it we would have smelt it we would have seen it of course now you call every motherfucker around they're gonna always say the worst of the worst so it's like unless you know your car unless you just don't give up you know into yourself with knowing your car don't listen to people, bro. Don't listen to what motherfuckers got to say. Like, if you go, go with your gut is telling you to do. Go with, you know, what you believe is right. Is what you what you need is necessary to do. So then, boom, man. Uh, I had to leave it at some some random nigga house, bro. I left it there for like two days, and I was just feeling I was feeling off about it sitting there, bro, because it was like 15 minutes away from my home, and it was just like if it was in like a fried neighborhood with niggas that's not my color like the opposite color so like it was a lot of like weird shit and here they tow shit like this city nigga they tow shit they go my mama nigga they tow shit like they don't like i had my old car when i was here a year ago the pontiac nigga they towed that bitch like no if fans or buts and i was a guest was on the guest floor and everything and they towed that bitch um so yeah they're nosy as fuck here I swear to God, I've had, when I was driving this motherfucker, I had, like, nigga, like, five cops follow me, bro. I'm talking about, like, follow me for, like, five to ten minutes. Like, be get behind me and just run my plates. Like, I, I they might, I might be going this way. They come this way. They'll you turn and follow me, like, and not, and not stop me on some weird shit. They re very nosy out here, bro. Um, but, yeah, fast forward, bro. Long story short, nigga, the car, I had to get it towed. I got it towed. You know, for my insurance, thank God, because motherfucker wanted a hundred dollars and shit to get it told. And at the time, I ain't got that. I ain't have that. And you know, I get into my mental health and my financial stability was been going on too, on why I ain't been making videos. But yeah, I end up fast forwarding to getting it told, bro. It took the tow, man, bro. It took that nigga like six. I say I was at angles at you like four hours, four and a half hours to get to to get to me. So then, boom. The shit, the shit, the shit, the tow nigga coming, whatever like that. Once the tow come, boy, I thought I was, <laughs> boy, if you know, you know, I thought I was going to have the man. Y'all saw that person, bro. Anybody will react how I got like real like nigga. Anyway, um, the tow, the tow truck came out to four and a half hours, bro. And shit, boom. Fast forward. I got a scanner. And I put put the diagnostic in it. Like, niggas to charge you, bro. Like, that's how you know you know your, you have to, you know your car best. When you go and get your own shit. Like, I got this. I got the little check that reader to see, like, the battery or something's dead, about to die, or any other problems. And I got this, the reader. So, I got it told here. I'm like, man, it can't be the transmission, bro, because I'm going into gears as I'm going into gears, the only one I'm not feeling is deep drive. I'm not feeling it like normally you can feel this your car move. You can feel it like or you can hear it if you've been driving for a long time or just like happen to pay attention to it. Um, when you go and you shift from park to reverse to N and D and shit, you'll feel it like you'll feel like you'll feel like it's like you'll feel me. So I did a reader or whatever on it and fast forward, long story short, nigga. It's my motherfucking um, output speed sensor. That's the code that popped up. Uh, P07720, some shit like that. And I looked that up, did my research, and it's, the tr it's basically my exact problem. So now I got to get that fixed. And once you get shit fixed, if you don't get it all fixed at once, each little old part compartment or each little old thing that was like, Compared to what you get, say you get a O2 sensor fix, and you might have another O2 sensor. That one that you replace can be brand new, best A1, but that second one will kind of wear out because it can't keep up with the good, you know, brand new shit. So me getting shit done one by one with this car, just uh, it just a lot of shit doesn't happen, bro. And the nigga, I gotta get that shit fixed. So I gotta get the sensor, which is ninety dollars, 
And I gotta get the fucking maintenance. The maintenance be the only thing out here, bro. They tax like a motherfucker, bro. Like they tax, bro. They charge like two hundred dollars to put on one sensor. Hundred dollars to put on one sensor that take thirty seconds, bro. Like, and I don't know. I do shit myself. Like, I ain't gonna say I don't know, but YouTube, bro. Like, I that's been my best friend through a lot of shit. So, I can, certain shit I could do. I don't have the parts, and I didn't have don't have the money honestly to go buy the lift kit to go buy the tools 90 plus dollar tools and do it myself otherwise i would but i don't want to fuck it up worse like certain shit like work fucking with the transmission and all that shit i don't want to do because i don't want to risk anything and i don't know cars like this is the first car i've ever had where i've had all these problems where i've had to constantly fix shit where some shit i might have done by myself so fast forward boom the car is here and it's sitting um and now i gotta get that fixed whenever i get it fixed but my mental aside from the car my mental bro because i was been like i'd be having a thought like i want to get him a pov like the day i made that video where i where i showed y'all where i was at type shit and said guess where i am whatever 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 i wanted to make consistent videos like povs and shit but my mental bro like mental health bro it's not like depression because i've been depressed like before this like up until I was like 23, I was depressed, bro. Like anxiety, stress, PTSD, but depression was the main shit and negative thoughts and shit. Just cause the shit I was around and my upbringing and certain shit like that. But lately it's been my mental health. Like I've been just like, hell to kind of keep up with me, bro. I ain't been able to work. Um, the jobs that are around here, they pay low dollar or they not hiring like dead ass. They not hiring and shit my car down for a moment so i can't just go to anywhere like i would have um and i just been down bro like just like having to really sit down and i ain't had to sit down this long in a long ass time bro i'm used to me being able to like i'm taking care of shit like i ain't sat down this long since when i first went to hobbs two years ago i ain't sat down this long like ever since then bro so i'm not adjusted to this not having money shit or may having to ask my granny for shit because i honestly need it or having to fucking sell shit like it almost got to the point where i was finna sell my shoes bro i was finna sell my fucking shoes I'll take it back to when i was like homeless type shit i used to do that shit when i was homeless i was finna sell some sell some shoes and shit like just so i could pay my fucking phone bill just so i could motherfucking eat for the day like i don't need no sympathy i don't want no sympathy i'm just giving y'all the real raw and uncut you feel me? Because y'all my family, you know? I appreciate y'all that, that's tuned in, still tuned in, and expecting me to drop. I've been waiting on this type of shit. Because I ain't quitting YouTube. I don't plan on it. My mental health, bro. I'm just like, I can't get him a video, bro. My mental health ain't there. So, uh, and I've finally, like, come to the realization of what to do. Like, now that I've been sitting so long, of course, you might have negative thoughts or you may have, like, like just the fucking blur don't know what to do but i finally like today i finally figure out what i'm gonna do and that's i'm gonna get a new car i'm going to get the part fixed for the car this car and i'm not and i i found I left it out i found a transmission guy ironically the guy that was finna tow my truck sent me over he had a crown vic and a mercury and all that shit the whole family of these type of cars and he had a guy, he has a mechanic that was only going to charge me 1500 bro, to fix the transmission. So, if you remember what I just said in the beginning, nigga offered me 4500 to fix this bitch, 2600 to fix this bitch, but then 1500 So, I'm going to get this part, and I'm going to get that shit fixed. And I feel like once I get that shit fixed, I'm, I'm still not going to get the transmission fixed, because at that point, I don't feel like doing that right now, like... What I want to bring to y'all is like builds and shit. Like future shit is going to be builds, car shit, a lot of car shit, vlogs and shit like that, but more so the car shit. Like I want this to be a project build as I go, but I ain't being consistent as I want to because of life shit and because the car is fucked up. Like it's not horrible, bro, but it's like it got its ups and downs, bro. So I'm going to get a challenger. Um, I've been manifesting like a motherfucker, bro. I watch this video. I watch it twice a day and I pray. And I've been seeing them on the train. You feel me? That's the trash of sign, bro. That's how I know. You feel me? The angels and ancestors be with you, bro. You might call me crazy, whatever, but like they be they be listening, bro. 
but I've been manifesting this challenger, challenger, challenger. And then like, bro, I've been seeing it in my dreams. Like ever since I've watched this video, yeah, praying too and watching the car as much as I do. Like, yeah, I would see it here and there, but like ever since I've been watching this certain video on my TikTok, bro, I swear to God, like one day I was in the car, I'll I start the car up. Mind you, it don't it don't drive. It reverses and shit. Cut on the shit, but I was nigga. I went to go motherfucking. I was just fucking with the car. I turned the car off fast forward, nigga, and I was finna get out the car. As soon as I opened the door, nigga, a black challenger, the, the shit I've been manifesting, bro, and watching has lit was right next to my car. All the spots around me, bro. That nigga parked right next to me, bro. So I'm getting a challenger. Um, I'm gonna get a straight eight. I want to get a straight. It's called a straight. They call it a straight eight, but I'm just gonna say SRT eight. SRT8 is basically a motherfucking, it's basically, it, not even basically, it's a motherfucking, no, because nah, it's basically a scat pack. It is, it's just, the scat pack, newer scat packs have 6.4, yeah, 6.4, and the Hellcats have 6.2, but this straight 8 Challengers and Chargers have a 6.1, so the 6.1 is literally under the motherfucking Hellcat. And it's thirty thousand dollars cheaper than the scat pack, so it's basically a Hellcat and a scat pack immersed into one. Um, so yeah, nigga, it got one eighty on the dash, and that's what I'm looking for right now. So I'm gonna get that, and that's gonna be more so like my PLV video, and that's gonna be what I want this car to be. But I'm gonna come back to this car, like I really, I'm a Dodge nigga, bro. Like I still got the keys to my first car ever when I was eighteen, my Magnum and my Charger that got repo. I have both keys still to this day bro i'm 24 bro and so this car i knew it had it has it has the potential to be what i want it to be but it's not my dream car which is a challenger bro it's not what i've been manifesting like the like the sound this car is top tier like the sound this motherfucker is one of one to me like this bitch is so fucking loud bro it ain't straight pipe to none it just got flow master series on the series 12 like truck like truck pipes on the flow masters. Like the sound nigga is is A1 steak sauce. Hold up. This nigga be out of my video. Hold on. Hold on so. But yeah, nigga. The motherfucking the sound, bro, is so amazing. So it's like I want a challenger, bro. That's my dream fucking car, bro. Is a challenger. So I've been seeing them in the fucking apartment now. And this look might look purple because this bitch damn near like it's black. But it's damn near, I wore it so much, this bitch damn near purple now. Um, or I, I think black can turn to purple, whatever. Don't mind me. Uh, but yeah, bro, like, so the SRT8, it's like, they're rare as fuck, bro. They're rare as fuck, and they're cheap to get. So I get that. I can do what I really want to do that because it's it's a Dodge, bro. It's my Challenger. It's what I want. Of course, I want a fucking Demon. I'm going to get a Demon. I feel like I already have a Demon. Of course, I want a Hellcat Red Eye, but it's like, bro, I'm just going to get this SRT8 that's so rare. It's the OG SRT, you feel me, from 20, 2008 to 2014, and then boom, get that and do what I really want to do to that and then just get a Demon. You feel me? Like, why try to get a motherfucking uh uh a red eye when i really want a demon so like nigga just get the srt8 fix that bitch up make it how i want to make it and then boom and this car i'll still fix it up in due time bro like i'm gonna get the parts and shit fixed but the whole getting transmission i'm not i'm not i'm not trying to do that right now i need a car that's reliable and i can drive around and do what i want to do so that's gonna be that car i'm getting next to the channel that's coming next to the channel bro the srt8 challenger i don't give a fuck what color I want a black when I do. That's what I manifesting and fruitioning. Um, but whatever color for real, because I don't. It's not really that many colors. It's like black, gray, blue. I don't like blue. Yeah. So I'm gonna get that, fix that bitch up, make it look like a damn near like a Hellcat, bro. Like it's gonna be raw as fuck. Wide body kid, demon hood, a whole bunch of shit. But I'm gonna get that, and then this car is just gonna be like. I guess I'm, I don't know for real. Like until I feel like coming, this gonna be like a second car. You feel me? And then, boom, I'm going to get the demon one day. Next year or this year, whatever, however it come. But, yeah, my mental health, bro, it ain't been there. But I'm slowly getting back, okay? I've been slowly getting back into working now. Because, nigga, I be stress eating, bro. Like, 
and I don't smoke, I don't smoke blacks, I don't smoke weed, so you only can imagine, bro, like, and I used to be an overthinker like a motherfucker, but I was finally, like, after 23 years, nigga, I stopped overthinking about shit, stopped thinking negative about shit, but I'm still human and have stress levels and still have shit going on, you feel me? So, on mental health, bro, but I've been, like, stress eating and shit, just eating and eat, like, so if you notice, I got a little bit, maybe got a little bit bigger, I don't, I don't know, um, but not not like hundreds of pounds, maybe like 10 pounds, 20 pounds, not 20. That's cap. Maybe like 10, 15 pounds for real. Um, but I've been back. I've been walking like crazy now. I've been doing working out like not how I want to yet. June, I'm going to go crazy with that shit. But like I've been slowly getting back, you know, into the groove of shit. Um, yeah, bro. Just make sure your mental health is good. But. I ain't want to just come back and my mental health was, like, my mental health was fucked up, bro. Like, my mental health was, like, fried, bro. But, you know, I'm here. I'm slowly taking it one day at a time. Hey, it was so hard to, like, I wanted to make this video, like, days, weeks, hell, a month ago. But my mental health ain't been there. But I'm like, bro, go do it. Like, if, if, I, if I can't drive the car right now, if I can't go get, I can get some money. You know, I got a job offer. I just got to get there. So, like take my mind away from that and come to y'all like and that was hard for me to deal with and think about because i'm so used to having to get money i'm so used to having to do shit which i do still now i don't want to just be sitting where i'm at but i'm thankful for where i'm at very thankful for where i'm at but you know it's i'm slowly getting back into the groove and shit so you know you know it's gonna pay off um mental health though man focusing on mental health bro like if you love somebody check on them you know you love yourself don't commit suicide not i ain't had no thoughts of suicide i ain't had maybe when i was younger when i was younger hell yeah but like nah i ain't got no thoughts of suicide i just been like like you know how you just get stuck like i ain't been this stuck in so long where i'm just like okay what the fuck is going on like what, are, what what's the next plans normally i know what to do i know how to maneuver and get around this shit but like lately i just been like like real life, you know how you keep you doing all right, bet. So you playing a game, nigga, and you keep redoing the same mission and you can't get past it. Like you can go watch YouTube videos, you can go do all this shit, but you cannot get past it. And then finally, nigga, you get past it. Or you slowly you slowly start to beat the mission. You might fuck up and have to redo it, but you get farther than you did the first couple times. But each time you make it farther and farther and farther until eventually you get past it. That's basically what's going on now. Like you feel me? So, I'm going to give you another video, man, probably about two days. Um, I mean, I don't know what the fuck. Maybe I can just start back motivating y'all for real. Motivate y'all. And then doing so, motivate myself. And seeing the video effects, seeing, you know, like, take it back to what I used to do. Motivational shit. So, you know, as I do that, maybe that'll get me better and better in my spirits and my mind, my mental while I ain't got the car to be driving. I can be at least coming out here and making videos. Now, it will be kind of like midday because, nigga, I ain't got no AC in this bitch, too. So, it be hot than a bitch, bro. Like, so, I can't. It's not like Hobbs where I can go to the car and make a fucking 50-minute video, nigga, and be cool and not have a drip. Nigga, I'm scorched. Nigga, I'm sweating like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I'm drenched, nigga. And, I, and I'm just sitting here, bro, and it ain't even that hot. It's just hot in the car, nigga. Like, motherfucking water got in the car. It was raining so bad, bro. Somehow, some way, nigga, water got in the car. I came to the car, nigga, it was a flood of water. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Like, I'm ready to get this challenger. I'm going to get the challenger. I just got to, you know, get my money right and get that bitch. I will get that bitch. I already have that bitch. You know, I just got to go pick that motherfucker was what I tell myself. But, man, y'all will be getting a video. Uh, I'm going to start, probably start back for real just talking to y'all, bro. Come to the car, having car talks. Uh, checking in with y'all, seeing how y'all doing, um, coming in, doing topics. Should I used to do? That's what I feel like it's supposed to have right now, bro. Instead of me like letting my YouTube just go by because of my mental and shit, that's a fucking excuse. I know what I signed up for, and I love YouTube with the purpose and the passion, bro. I've been doing this shit since I was 10 years old, but I stopped when I was 10 because I got discouraged, and I came back 10 years later. You feel me? So at like 21, 22 types, yeah. No, like, tw no, I, st I started YouTube at 11, came back at 21. 
but and I've been doing it since then. Like, nigga, I've been doing this shit three years. I just ain't been consistent like I was in indie. So I need to have that fire in me, which I do. I just be on some, like, sad boy slash angry boy type shit. Like, I be just, like, not even mad at the world. I don't blame nobody for shit I'm going through. But I just been, like, just, just emotions everywhere, bro. Mental health fried. Like, not depression, mental health just, like. A whole bunch of shit not overthinking just mental health bro main thing mental health but yeah it's a little update man um the car still works and shit like that like it still works i mean i, I can cut it on and shit but it really ain't no point i am when i get the video over with i am of course gonna cut it on and shit but you know i'm coming back man i ain't gonna say every day but i say when i get this car when shit get back on track every day y'all will get a video bro I wanted to now. I wanted to get out videos every day now, but my situation and circumstance, I can't even say that because I'd be contradicting myself and lying. I'm going to try my best to give y'all a video every day. Um, I'm going to give y'all a video in two days because I know I haven't posted in over a month, so the views and the analytics and stuff like that ain't going to, the reach view and all that shit ain't going to be as, you know, unless y'all really miss a nigga and want to watch me and shit, which I appreciate, but I need this shit to go up. I don't need to go up because I know y'all there. You know, ones away. I don't see and shit like that physically, but two days I'll come back, you know, with an update. More so motivation and just give y'all a little talk. And that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to say every two days I give y'all a video because my fucking, I got my storage somehow. That shit got bought. So, Universe been telling me to make a video. Like, my phone, the phone, the, the, the storage it came with, it ain't got no fucking storage for real. So, I used to buy storage and I did that on here. And I ain't had the money for it to even fucking do that. And, nigga, the shit came and somehow it got paid for it. So I was like, nigga, go make videos, bro. And that was like three days ago, four days ago, maybe a week ago. But every two days, I'm going to try my best to get y'all a video. I don't know. I ain't going to try to narrow it down because I don't know. But I don't want to talk about the same shit. Like, I just want to go with the flow, bro. I want to go with the flow, give y'all updates of my life. Um, and shit like that. Not like have all these topics about angel numbers and all, not that type of shit. Like angel numbers, mm, it's cool. I could talk about that, but I, that can be for like OnlyFans content for niggas who really want to see classes and know that shit. Not for free when y'all can just give a fuck and skip over it or not watch it. So I will be giving y'all updates and videos every two days of vlog. Hell, even if it's me just walking the dogs and shit, walking around Houston, the little area I walk around. But, uh, yeah, I love you. If you made it this far in the video, man, I love you. I appreciate you. I praise you so much. Um, yes, I'm good. I'm not depressed. I promise I'm not. I don't have thoughts of suicide. I promise, bro. My mental health, bro. Blockage. Confusion. What's next? But I'm slowly, you know, getting back into my groove. So, it's your boy, Drakel. Welcome to my channel, Drakel Legacy. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you made this far in the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you stay tuned in for the next video because y'all will be getting a video in two days, I promise you. The time aspect, it might be on the patio. I don't know. I don't want to be walking around this bitch in the hot. I tell you that, bro. I ain't got no AC, and I don't want to be out in this scorching ass sun making a video like just drenched in sweat, bro. Like I just came out of the, you know, like no, because... No, so I appreciate you if you made it this far. I love you. Um, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Roll to 100 subs, then roll to 200 subs, and 300, 400, 500, 600. Yes, but new ch new car is coming to the channel. New car is coming to the channel. Um, stay tuned for that. I gotta get my funds right, obviously. And that shit coming because them bitches is cheap. They only like 23,000, 20,000. Like they're, they're dirt fucking cheap, bro. And they, you feel me? So I'm gonna get my bag right. This you the manifest. And I promise, I don't know if it's gonna be next month, month after that. But y'all will be seeing the challenger straight eight. Y'all will be seeing it on my channel. And that will take over this fucking car. This car, I'll probably just, I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'll make this bitch a hood car. I'm gonna make this car what I wanted to make my Pontiac on my Magnum or my charger this i don't i'm not a crown vic nigga i fuck with it i fuck with the look i'm a challenger nigga i'm a two-door coupe type nigga 
You feel me? I'm the challenger game, nigga. Mopar, no car, nigga. Come on, man. I got the Magnum key still in the Charger key, nigga. So the third time, nigga, this ain't this ain't for me. This don't count, nigga. Third key from the be that motherfucking straight A. And the key, ironically, the key looks just like this, bro. So yeah, man. I love you. I appreciate and praise you. Uh stay positive through whatever you're going through, man. You can and you will get through it. I'm talking to you watching. You watch, including myself, but you know, don't commit suicide. Don't abuse drugs. We've all been there. I've been there just like you. And I'm not here to tell you what and what not to do. I just ex hope that you do the right thing for yourself. That make me feel good. You doing what you want, what, not doing what you want to do, but doing the right thing will make me feel good. I can't tell you or force you anything you want. You're grown just like me. But just know you got something to live for. Either you see it now or not. Just know you got something that's good coming in your future. Stay positive. Stay prayed up, stay focused, manifest, fruition. And don't hurt yourself. Do not hurt yourself. But like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. I love you. Thank you. Appreciate and praise you. See you in two days. See you in two days, all right? See, I'm looking at you. See you in two days, bro, all right? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was doing. But see you in two days, man, all right, man? None of that gang affiliate, none of that, none of that shit, bro. Love you. Appreciate and praise you, man. Hey, don't hurt yourself. Stay positive, bro. Miss whoever. Stay positive, bro. It's going to be all right. All right? I love you. I love you, dog. Love.